morning, Swingay. Welcome to another celebration assembly. So we have our nominations for our Key Stage 2 children coming up in a minute. And we look forward to seeing all of the children who've been working exceptionally hard this week. It's been so good on Twitter to see all of the work and all of the creativity and different things that have been happening. So wonderful to see those acts of kindness that have been happening. Children writing to people in care homes, children writing to grandparents. It's so precious to have those things and to reach out to people who might be lonely at this time. And if you haven't already done that, please do. Please see if you can find a way to show some, some kindness at this time. It's really important. It feels such a long time since we've all been together at Swingate. We await the news on Sunday to find out what the Prime Minister is going to say about fully reopening schools. We don't know before you, so as soon as we hear the news on Sunday, we will be getting together as SLT to discuss our strategy and our way forward. And as soon as that is sorted, we will be letting you know exactly what our next steps will be. But at the forefront of our mind will be children and adult safety and making sure that we are following any and all guidelines that are put forward. Okay, so without further ado, here are this week's nominations. Hello Eagles, I hope you're all staying safe and you're all well. I've got my lovely helper Eddie again this week. He's been really stuck into his book. Oh, Eddie, you look like so down again. Silly bird never learns. Right, so he's been helping me decide who's going to be our winner this week, our nomination, because he's been looking through everyone's work that they sent me, and we decided on one winner. So, drum roll, please. It's Cara, because she's been trying really hard with her math. She's getting her, her work done. She's been doing go noodles in between to get her brain ready and active for learning. And she challenged me to a TikTok. I love a challenge. So, well done, Cara. Keep up all the hard work, everybody. I hope you're all enjoying the sunshine. We've had a lovely few days weather-wise. For Celebration Assembly this week, I would like to nominate Blake. And Blake, I have chosen you because you sent me a lovely email this week showing me what you have been up to at home, including a beautiful British Values poster, a very creepy character description, and a book review for a Barry Loser book. So well done, Blake. Keep it up. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye, everyone. Hello everyone in Hawks class, I hope you're doing really well and staying safe. This week I'm going to nominate Zach. Zach has been completing the most sessions I've noticed on TT Rockstars every week. Well done Zach. Um, it was re it was a really hard decision choosing someone for a celebration assembly this week. I've had lots of emails telling me and showing me the amazing learning that Buzzer class have been completing at home. Um, but this week I have chosen Ryan. Not only has he been completing all of his home learning to an amazingly high standard, but he has also been a really kind brother and helping his sister when she's finding some of her home learning a little bit challenging. What a kind brother. Well done, Ryan. Hi, everyone. From Falcon class this week, I have chosen Faye. Uh, Faye, I loved reading your friendship spell. You had some really important ingredients in there. Um, you've also sent me some really fantastic pictures of your um, reading in your most creative places, which were really brilliant to see. Um, so keep up the really fantastic work. Enjoy all the things like finding out about your caterpillars. Hi everyone, it's been a really difficult decision for me this week as so many of you have been sending me such amazing pieces of home learning and I've seen lots of you working really hard on Twitter as well which is amazing so well done and keep it up and um, for Celebration Assembly this week I have chosen Marley now Marley has been working really hard over the past few weeks and what impressed me the most was his brilliant description of um, a forest and not only that, his bug hotel was pretty impressive too. Well done, Marley. Hello, I hope everyone's doing well.
everyone's keeping safe and well. I actually found it quite a challenge to choose somebody for Saturn class this week because I've seen so much brilliant work sent in. There's been some lovely garden artwork from Lucy and Liam. There's been Mia's brilliant science experiment. Joshua's done a poster for VE Day to put in his window. But the person who stuck out to me the most this week is Brooke because at the start of the week, I got an email from mum with a lot of the lovely work that she's been doing and she's said that she's been doing really really well on her maths work and then today which is Wednesday she sent across a Mickey head that Brooke had made because unfortunately they were supposed to be going to Disney World next month which of course isn't happening anymore but Brooke hasn't let this get her down she has created out of cardboard and twigs and spray paint a Mickey head which honestly if you saw it you'd think that it was created by Disney themselves it's amazing the shape of it and everything it's just great so well done for this week, Brooke. Hello, Gifts of Class. Hope that everybody is safe and well. Thank you, as always, to those people who have been emailing me this week. It's been lovely to hear from you all. This week for our celebration assembly, I have chosen Evie from Jupiter Class. Evie, I was really impressed with your river system that you made and then took a photo of and, and sent to me. Um, Evie made this river system, um, a 3D collage and she labelled all the geographical features um, and I was super impressed with that Evie so thank you very much. Um, I hope everybody is safe and well and hope to see you all soon. Take care, bye bye. Hello everyone, hope you're all keeping well. My star of the week this week is Aidan Harris. Aidan I didn't want you to think that I'd forgotten about your fantastic story. It grabbed my attention from the word go. You could put so much detail into that story. I could see that you really tried your very, very best. I'm glad to hear that you're keeping up with all the rest of the home learning too. And uh, well done. Keep it up. Okay, everyone. Look after yourself. Stay safe and hope to see you soon. Bye. everybody at Swingate. Uh, this week I'm going to be a little bit cheeky because I'm going to nominate somebody that I've already nominated since we've been at home but this person has just been working so hard that I just had to do it. Uh, the person that I'm nominating is Joseph Sword um, because he's been working really hard. I've seen some fantastic writing, he's been making brilliant models and artwork and my particular favourite was his life-size diagram of the circulatory system where he used a pom-pom for a brain and cardboard to make the heart with the valves um, and he used blue and red wool to make the arteries and the veins that go around the body. It was literally amazing. So well done Joseph, you've been working really hard and I'm so proud of everything that you're doing. Keep it up and I look forward to seeing what you've been up to next. Hey everybody, I hope you are all safe and well. Before I give my nomination, I would like to shout well done to two members of Kingsley class. Ben Williams, painting a circulatory system on a t-shirt. What a fantastic idea! I would like to also say thank you to Louis Hodge for trying to defend Kingsley honour on TT Rockstress. I hope we win! Let's go back now to the celebration assembly. I would like to nominate Phoebe for this week. Phoebe has created such an amazing story using different descriptive techniques, different central starters and rhetorical questions. The ending gave me chills. Well done, Phoebe. Hello everyone, hope you're all well. This week for Columbus class, I have chosen Austin to nominate for Celebration Assembly. He emailed me this week telling me about how he's been getting on, showed me photos, really liked the work he, that he'd been doing so far, did an amazing non-chronological report on the circulatory system. I'd also like to give a special mention to Nathan and Taylor, who've also emailed. They've started their work on their project this week, the island. Looks really good so far, so looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Well done. Hey, 
My nomination for Polar Class this week is Hayden. He has emailed me with loads of work that he's been up to, which is brilliant, so keep it up, Hayden. I also want to give a shout out to my two Emilys who've asked for extra maths work, which is amazing, so keep it up too. Have a lovely Sunday. If week. you were nominated, congratulations. Well done, and I hope everyone is cheering you on at home. And if you've seen that your friend was nominated, let them know. They might not have seen the video yet. Let them know. Congratulations and thank you to all of the teachers for videoing their nominations and for sending it in. It's so lovely to see all their faces, isn't it? It's really, really great. Fantastic. And we can't wait to see everyone again soon. So on to my adult nomination. So the teachers have been working so hard with all their ideas, with all the different things they do to keep our learning fun and different at home. Well done to everyone. But one teacher particularly has stood out, not just this week, but since lockdown, as being really enthusiastic, really bubbly, a little bit crazy. But um, this person has been reading their class text to their class each day, a different chapter each day. Um, I did notice yesterday she was dressed up because someone in her class asked her to, which I thought was brilliant. Um, and she is just positive and a wonderful, enthusiastic teacher to have on our staff team at any time, but particularly during lockdown when things can get a little bit sad. So thank you, Miss Straub, for always being enthusiastic and for just doing your best for Swingate at all times. We think you're fantastic. Well done. Thank you. OK, I hope everyone is going to join in with our school theme tune. Children, teacher mums and dads and whoever's in the house, let's go for it. The Swingate Way.